Hey everybody, it's Brad Halleck with VH Cosplay. I wanted to give you a quick tutorial on mold making. So what I'm showing you here, or trying to, didn't quite get it in the camera, is a can of silicone mold release. You want to spray that on the inside of your mold before you put the halves together so that the resin releases when you pull the mold apart. The yellow and blue bottles I'm holding up are Smoothcast 300. It's a bright white liquid plastic. I've used a few different types of liquid plastic resin, and I really like the Smoothcast 300. It's really easy to use because it mixes one-to-one -one by volume, and you don't have to degas it. Since you don't want to waste resin, it's important to know exactly how much volume is inside your mold. I learned a cool trick where I clamp my mold together, as you can see in the picture, and I pour in water. Once the mold is full, I pour the water out into a container so I can see exactly how many milliliters of fluid it holds. For this particular mold, it held just over 350 milliliters. I wanted to round up, so I made sure I had exactly enough in case of mistakes or overpours, so I mixed up 400 milliliters of resin. If you use that method to determine volume, just make sure you separate the mold and let it dry completely before you try to make a mold. One of the issues I encountered with the first couple of molds I pulled from this were the plastic didn't make it into the trigger guard. Whenever you have small areas, the plastic sometimes doesn't want to flow into those areas. To solve this problem, I tipped the mold forward after filling it about three quarters of the way and wrapped on the sides with a mallet to help vibrate that plastic into those areas. It worked great. The great thing about this epoxy is that it cures very quickly. This one cured in about 10 minutes. I always give it a few extra minutes because it generates quite a bit of heat when it's curing and the plastic can still be flexible. Now that the mold is out, I can clean it up and cut off the pour spout and I'm ready to start painting. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.